Hey guys, and welcome to the Daily Market Analysis by Sensible. Uh, as usual, this is just for educational purposes. These are not trade recommendations, no buys, no sells. We are just looking at analyzing the market for tomorrow in a particular framework uh, so that you can you know, replicate the trades when you find similar trading setups. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So we'll go slow today. We are targeting anything between 10 and 15 minutes for the final time of our webinar. Rather, this short show, I kind of like, I mean, dislike calling it a webinar. So without further ado, let's get started. So let us start with the usual thing, the graph, right? And because the graph is the most uh, elementary starting point of everything. So there has been break above the all time high with this particular candle and it has, it is trading above, but we can see that today's candle is a red negative candle. So it could be some amount of profit booking, which is happening. But regardless of that, we can expect the market to consolidate here for some time. We can expect the market to, you know, stick around here for some time, not go up massively. So this is definitely not a time to bet on momentum and keep buying calls. So in case you had bought calls yesterday here, which we were mentioning two days back in the analysis, today was a nice opportunity to exit the calls roughly 160 odd points uh, but today it is not a time to buy calls so today is not a time to buy futures also because in case this is a consolidation we can see it come here up to 15437 so all time high is our support which is this line this is the line before going up further it is possible that it will revisit this all time high then take some support here and decide to go up or go down so what is the imminent risk here now that we have seen a red candle we can see a relapse to 15 450 or 15 430 levels right so i would not go want to go long here my net long entry will happen somewhere around here with a tight stop loss here right now it is not exactly a long zone is it a short zone it's not a short zone also because ultimately a short happens if it breaks below 15 500 Till then it is not a short, but it's definitely still a buy on dip market. So let us write it for what it is. Still in a breakdown, red candle consolidating at the top of the red candle. 15500 is the support. Still buy on dips. Still markets is a reversal signal. It is always buy on dips. When we see buy on dips again, we will buy at 15500. So it's like what they say in the trade proverb, right? buy every pullback from a new high so if there is a pullback to 15500 again we'll try to buy that again if it holds moving on to option chain which is very interesting for today option chain we saw a lot of people happily selling 15600 calls 15600 puts also we saw but 15600 call is just twice almost twice the number of 15500 15600 puts we also saw unwinding these levels so and if you look at the overall option chain of June the 1st, which is today, 15th has suddenly emerged as the single biggest strike. I mean, we can ignore 16,000 because that is just a far away OTM. Among the strikes which matter, 15,600 call has the highest OI. So you can expect 15,600 to show, sorry, one second. So 15600 is the single biggest call away. 15600 can be a resistance. 15600 daily call sell has happened. So from the option chain, it is very clear that we are seeing a temporary pause in the market. There can be a pause in the upward. Okay. Now let us look at PCR. PCR is 1.1. It was 1.4 yesterday. So it has come down right yesterday we were talking about it it is almost overbought conditions today it gapped open and somebody said okay let's all take a chill pill and you know calm it down and see what happens so we saw it again it is down to 1.1 from 1.4 yesterday indicating a pause in bullish momentum now let us move to fia option and futures data FI option data, monthly basis, there are more puts than calls, 1.3 is to 1. And daily basis, they sold more calls. So 9,000, almost 10,000 quantity calls sold, 3,000 quantity puts sold, calls way more than puts. Therefore, it is 
uh, bearish, right? So daily data is bearish. So FIA option data looks bearish. Now let us look at FIA futures data. 413 crores bought, which is not very bullish. It is moderately bullish, mildly positive. Finally, FIA stock data is a sell on daily, almost 500 crores. Net net, they have sold in daily. And this is important because this is the first time in some time that we are seeing a there are only two negative numbers since May 20th. So this is showing some kind of profit booking. Mildly negative. So what is the verdict? See, we are still in a breakout. It is not a time saying that, you know what, I'm going to short all time high for a break to 12,000. It's not the case. Still a buy on dip. Still it shows a clear reversal signal. If you're afraid of, you know, going long here, there's absolutely no problem. You can see. So if I were you, what I'll do is I'll just wait and watch if I get another, I'll just wait and watch to see the price action here. If this level holds again, 15,500, I'll absolutely think of going long on Nifty futures or call options. But if it comes back here and if it breaks back in here, right, then I have a cause for concern. I'll be like, boss, ye kyu ho hai? and also I can probably think of drawing this channel, which I'm seeing now. I mean, you can always draw a channel, right? Take line, two tuck, yawa, dusra line, man. Yeah, no, not really. This is not really a channel. Let me not see channels when channels don't exist. So this is a this is an interesting point. Yaha se, you can see a consolidation to this level. If that happens, we'll see what happens here. If it goes below, we'll short. If it goes above, we'll long. But now all time high has to be watched out to see what happens when it consolidates at all time high again. So I'll probably not enter a trade here. That's just me. I don't want to chase the momentum without a proper. So that is very important, right? If you're going long, your entry and exit is everything. If you're entering at the right level, even if you wrong level, even if your direction is right, there's no point in that. So verdict is uh, not trading directionally now. Which I probably have a verdict here. No directional trades. Whoa, wait. This is weird. 15,000 can act, 6,000 can act as a resistance. 15,400 can be a support. 400 to 500 zone, right? Like that all time high zone. It's a, somewhere around 15,450, but it's always, a, it's not an exact point. We'll look to see if there is a price stabilization. No directional trades right now. Will happily short OTM options as momentum seems to have slowed down. And what are my trades? One second, please. I'm getting up. So, what are the um, what are the trades which I can do at this point? So I can exit the earlier puts which we had sold on, you know, Friday or Monday because now the premium has eroded. Like Sagar was pointing this out to me. So Sagar, our Hindi guy, uh, Hindi presenter, he was telling me, yeah, you have sold some puts. Why don't you exit? I'm like, yeah, that is correct. I forgot about the exit. So you can exit the puts sold if it's earlier. Premium is all over. So if you feel, if you want to buy into this theory that bullish momentum is slowing down and we might get a consolidation back to all time highs and looking at the overall option chain if you feel like you know whoever is selling this 15 600 calls they might know something then you can sell 15 600 calls the safer thing to do so today's action right look at this strikes have seen massive increase in oi like 15 600 700 800 900 so 15 i can't short 15 600 calls or above I'm not very sure about shorting 15 400 puts because uh, I mean, maybe I can also sell 15 600 400, but at this point, I'm more comfortable selling 15 600 calls because of the sheer increase in 15 600 strike than selling DJK puts because they, there can be some concern. So, looking at today's action, I think there might be some consolidation. So, I'm not very comfortable selling puts 15 600 plus calls for sure. I'm happy selling 700 calls, I'll happily sell 600. I'll call with some little bit of scary catness 
uh, 5400 i'll be happy to kind of sell but if it consolidates back here i'll be in trouble so this is a you know reasonably good sell this is a safe sell this i'll absolutely not sell 5500 put i won't sell 5400 maybe but i don't know how much premium is left in it but it looks like there is some pause in the market's upward momentum at least looking at the chart now quickly moving on to bank nifty nifty bank just keeping a watch on time it's 10 minute mark yeah bank nifty which broke the line yesterday now it is again consolidating at this thing. so we were watching this line right and look at it how beautifully has it gone up and down this line so it consolidated below broke above then again it is consolidating and taking support at this so if this line breaks it is bearish but if it continues to move upwards it is going to be bullish so bank nifty is definitely not a short it is still above this resistance uh, line which later became a support line so above this line i look to buy below this line i look to probably sell but right now bank nifty is looking bullish for me finally moving on to our usual usd inr is very very interesting because yesterday we were saying it has given a green candle double rejection of the wick it can be a bullish signal and yes today we saw a very nice green candle so just to put things in perspective because usd inr is showing a reversal signal there could be the overall theory that if dollar goes up nifty goes down some risk of scenario can come holds even more credibility and if you look at weekly dollar charts this is now almost starting to look like a piercing candle it is even more visible in this spot chart you can look at it in trading view so overall right i'm expecting some sort of consolidation you know uh and as chidambaram is pointing out i had future short bought call options it can't be taken they are short on nifty yeah volume is not continuous chidambaram is putting a lot of things i really don't know what it means but i'm sure he knows what he's talking about so anyway uh right now my overall verdict of the market is that it looks like we are looking at some kind of a breather right uh, so 15400 put has uh, fallen in oi somebody was pointing that out but here it is a very minor right it's only like half a million put oi so i do i won't look seriously into this but it definitely means that some people are getting out of this put for two reasons one the premium has eroded so there's not much point two they might not be comfortable holding this and they are getting out of this put because they are expecting a correction back to this level it could mean either but you have to of course give importance to the fact that there is a check withdrawal of put open interest here some people are saying boss maybe i should get out whatever it means they know something that we don't so which is also one reason why i'm not short comfortable holding to my 1500 put short or selling new 1500 1500 So that is our interpretation for today. We'll close under 15 minutes, thankfully. So thanks, guys, for joining this one. Uh, as usual, please keep your capital safe. There's no necessity to trade if you're not sure about a trade. Every trade in which you don't lose money is as good as making uh, money. So if you have sold upper ka calls, 15700, 15800, or 15600, it's not a bad idea. Maybe you'll get lucky and two days will pass and you'll escape without damage. So thanks again for joining this thing trade safe keep your capital safe and and we'll see you again tomorrow